Important alert! This video comes with a giveaway. The first 50 people can get a 10-day free subscription. Check the description for the code and details. Don't miss it! Hey everyone! Welcome back to AI Border. Let me start with a quick story. A good friend of mine here in Italy has been working as a 3D artist on Fiverr for the past four years. He's incredibly talented. Used to spend days crafting candle models and product visuals using Blender, earning around 1,500 euros a month. A while ago, I messaged him trying to convince him to explore AI tools for 3D generation. But like many traditional artists, he pushed back. I'm an artist. AI is cheating, he said. I get it. He was proud of his skill and didn't believe AI could match his work. Fast forward to two months ago, a subscriber of this channel sent me a message. He said, I saw your video on AI 3D generation a few months back. I gave it a try, and in May 2025, I made over 3,500 euros in just one month. He didn't have years of 3D experience. He just started with the right tool. So today's video is for you. Whether you're a freelancer, creator, or just curious, you can ignore it or you can start your own business right now using what I'm about to show you. What is Rodin 3D? So, the tool we're exploring today is called Rodin, and you can find it at hyper3d.ai. Rodin is an incredibly powerful AI model that takes any flat image and turns it into a fully functional, game-ready 3D model. And it does it in just a few clicks. Now, if you saw the earlier video where I covered the beta version, forget that because this is something else entirely. This is the all new Rodin Gen 1.5, and it's a major upgrade across the board. You'll notice the mesh details are much sharper. The texture accuracy is way better. Processing time is crazy fast. Most models are done in under 30 seconds. And the interface? It's been completely refined, giving you full control to tweak every detail. All right, let's test it out in real time. First, head over to hyper3d.ai. That'll take you straight to the Rodin homepage. Now, Rodin gives you three main options to choose from. The first one is single image, which works best for simple objects. Then there's multi-angle images, great if you've got something with more complex geometry. And finally, there's image fusion, which lets you combine features from multiple sources. For this demo, I'm gonna stick with a single image. I've got this artwork I generated in mid-journey, so let's upload that. As soon as the image is uploaded, Rodin detects the objects and asks if I want to create a 3D model from the entire image, or just focus on one object. I'm going to go ahead and generate a model of the full image. Now check this out. Within seconds, Rodin gives you a draft 3D model. You can rotate it, zoom in, and inspect the mesh directly in the interface. And honestly, it's already pretty close to the original reference image. Over on the right side, you'll see a prompt box. This is where you can actually describe the changes you want to make. So if you want to tweak the shape or add some features, you just type it in here. Under that, you'll find a bunch of parameter toggles. There's T-Pose, which is super useful if you're working with humanoid characters. It automatically rigs the model for animation. Detail and complexity lets you adjust between smoother forms or sharper edges. Symmetry forces mirrored geometry, which is great for balance. Game Ready optimizes the polygon count so it's usable in real-time engines. And Character Mode just adds some smart tweaks for more natural-looking human models. If you want even more control, hit Advanced Settings. Here, you can adjust the seed value to get different results, fine-tune how closely it follows your reference image, increase the number of AI processing steps for better detail, or even add negative prompts to avoid certain features. And if you're using multi-image input, there's a way to adjust direction vectors, but we'll skip that for now. Now, when you're ready, just click Redo, and Rodin will generate a fresh version. You can do this up to 50 times before you lock it in. And if you liked a version from earlier, no worries. Just head over to the History tab, pick it, and restore it. Once you're happy with everything, hit Confirm, and that's when Rodin starts generating the pro version of your model. Just a heads up, this final step is the only part that actually uses credits. Everything before that, totally free to experiment with. Mesh editor and custom sculpting. Once you hit confirm, Rodin unlocks the mesh editor. And this is where things get really fun. This tool lets you fine tune the geometry of your model using built-in sculpting features. Just use your mouse to brush over parts of the mesh. 
You can smooth out surfaces, reshape areas, or even highlight and refine specific details. It's quick, intuitive, and perfect for those final touch-ups. When you're done, just save your changes and jump back into your project. Texture Generation and Editing Now, let's talk about Texture Generation, one of Rodin's most impressive features. With the latest update, Rodin can generate high-quality textures for your 3D model automatically. You've got a couple of options here. You can either let the AI infer the textures directly from the image you uploaded, or you can upload extra references to fuse different texture maps together. And to fine-tune the result, there are some really handy sliders. Texture complexity, if you want more detail. Match to reference strength, to control how closely it sticks to the original. And face restore, which is super useful for getting clean, realistic character faces. Once you're set, just hit generate. And in about 20 to 60 seconds, Rodan textures the entire model. And the results? Honestly, they're kind of amazing. Even parts you never showed, like the back of a character, get filled in with realistic, logical details. You can regenerate the texture up to 15 times or just hit confirm once you're happy with how it looks. Exporting and using your model. All right, once you're finished, it's time to export your model. Rodin gives you a complete download package that includes the FBX file, all the textured images, and full PBR assets like metallic, roughness, and more. Final thoughts. This isn't just some fun experiment, it's honestly a game changer for creators. Rodan Gen 1.5 gives you the power to create professional grade 3D assets for games animations, product design NFTs, and even client work, all without spending days glued to a screen or dropping hundreds of dollars on marketplace assets. Now, if you're wondering, wait, is AI going to replace artists? The answer is no, but it's absolutely going to supercharge the artists who know how to use it smartly. This is your moment to start building or scaling your creative business. If one of my subscribers could do it in just a few months, you can too. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. I'd love to hear what you're creating with Rodin. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.